Hello everyone. I wanted to share with you uh, today what my orchids look like after a nice summer rain. We've had a good kind of downpour this morning and I just wanted to kind of uh, show you some images of the different flowers and plants when they are covered in wetness because if ever there is a happy plant, I think it's it's now. They just seem to glow with the uh, water droplets dripping off the off the roots. So let's just let's just get back here and and, and check it out a little bit. I'll try to get away from the Zoom. Zooming is not doing a whole, whole lot for us. back up into the shade house and see how everything's looking. There's something about the the rain. It just it it the plants look different after being rained on versus when they've been watered. Uh, they just have this well, I said it before, I'll say it again, I just had this glow about them, and everything is nice and wet. There's no mist spots. Everything is green. The roots are just thrilled about it. You know, you can tell the little moss growths pop open. It's really nice. I haven't talked about these plants. This is a zygopetalum, uh, and these plants like cooler temperatures. And uh, when you put them outside for the summer, if you live in a warm place like I do, you'll see the leaves start to get these spots on them. And the spots are, they come, it's because of heat. They spot because of heat. If it's too warm, they'll get spots. Okay. And I say this because um, I had this growing inside uh, until just a, about a month ago, and there were no spots at all inside. It's probably, you know, it's around 20 degrees C, around 70 something F, and no no spots to to speak of. And as soon as I brought it out here, within a week, it had developed those spots because it's much warmer out here. This is a catacetum, catacetum. Uh, actually, it's it's in the Catacetum family, but it's a Mormodia. And I don't know if you see the tag there, it's called Mormodia Jumbo World. It comes from I think the breeding is Jumbo Orchids was the name of the place, um, or maybe it was Sun Sunset Valley did the breeding. But anyway, the name Jumbo comes from Jumbo World. Uh, these are these are becoming a lot more popular. I mean, a lot of people are are 
into the catacetum type orchids these days because, well, they're just fun. Uh, they do kind of interesting things. When I got this plant, it was during the winter, and there was only, if you can imagine, this and this not there. So it was just one, two, three little bulbs, and that's it. It just looked like, it looked like it was dead, you know. And in the spring, it starts to sprout new growths, which will hopefully eventually look like a bulb like this in the fall. And this plant uh, grows like this, grows very quickly for an orchid. I mean, it's done all this in, you know, three or four months. Whereas <laughs> another plant might only grow one inch in three months, you know. So they grow very quickly for orchids because they have a definite wet season and dry season. And uh, what I like about this one is that after, in the fall, um, it's deciduous and all of these leaves will fall off and it'll just look like this bulb. But then in the winter it will bloom. And that's nice because you have this kind of just ridiculous looking cone-shaped bulbs, but then you have nice little flower spikes coming out of the bulbs. And uh, like I said, they're they're fun because they they do they do have definite kind of seasons, you know. Anyway, this is a really fun plant to grow. That's a catacetum or mormodia. You have mormodes, you have cloesia, you have different uh, members of that tribe. What do you think? Look good? All right. Anything else looking particularly interesting in the rain? Maybe not. This Phragmopedium loves water, and so it it always has an especially happy look when it's got when it's been rained on. Uh, let's look at the seedlings real quick. These um, they love to be rained on and then to dry out. So. Really get some nice and soft. You can see that it's got a little new root there. Hopefully, there won't be any bugs to eat it. But you never know. And let's look at this little guy too. Just the uh, the rain just soaks the the piece of wood that it's attached to. And uh, you can let me show you over here. Oops! Bump. Put my eye out. You can see here where it was trying to grow roots, and then a bug ate that tip. And then it tried to grow another root off to the side, and then a bug ate that one too. So it's fighting, but uh, it's kind of always an uphill battle against those insects. They just love those root tips. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed. It's just a very nice, uh, wet August day. It's nice to have everybody out here getting rained on. And it's cooler temperatures today, so everyone's a lot happier, I think. Listen to those cardinals. You hear them? Just beautiful. That's all for today. See you next time.